start with Mike Singer. And Nicola, you guys were up 24 uh, in the third quarter and then got cut to two possessions multiple times in the in the fourth um, as the game was coming down to the end. Why do you think that that happened tonight? We lost the focus. We lost the way how we play. We have we had a lot of turnovers. We didn't play with a lot of energy. We didn't play uh, with a lot of like um, with the trust, the ring, with anything we we were doing. We were doing. Um, Kind of slow, kind of hesitate, kind of sloppy. You know, we were kind of just there. Uh, we didn't. We were not aggressive at all. Esteban. Hi, Nicola from Cordoba, Argentina. Um, yesterday in Cordoba, uh, the club municipalidad, when Facu grow up, uh, changed the name and put. Facundo Capasso Stadium. Uh, do you have the chance to talk yeah, I know, uh, I know. with Fago? We were talking about. That's why he missed uh, sh shooting practice last night because he needed to talk to the guys. And we were mad at him. He was missing the practice. I mean, it's a it's a great honor uh, to, to to for him for sure for sure that something in his city that he was born. Uh, he was born. Yeah, born. And um, it's probably it's it's honor for him. Vinny Benedetto. Hey Nicola, given the events in in Boulder yesterday, is it hard for you to get in the mindset to play a basketball game, or is that something that you just kind of have a routine that you go to? I mean, it's a, it's a huge tragedy, of course. Uh, it's um, I mean. Those things happen in the new world and uh, just kind of hit you. And, uh, you know, you just, you send your thoughts to the families. Uh, I think actually the guy, one guy was Serbian. So, uh, you know, it's something that um, nobody wants to kind of be even close. I don't know, like, we don't want to have anything to happen. But when something like that happened and then, uh, I don't know. You just kind of feel the weird, you know. Feel uh, is it possible that someone could someone could do that? Some somebody can do that. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I, I just sending uh, my thoughts and prayers to the families. Mike, Sing hey Nicole, sorry to go back to basketball, um, but w when another team goes on those runs that we were just talking about, it, it, like they did in the third quarter, what's the key to stopping them? It seems like you 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 generally go and play in the post and make things easier and be aggressive. But is that, is that, do you agree with that? I think we just needed, uh, we just, uh, because I think the problem was often because we were turning the ball over. They were, uh, we were missing shots. They were, we didn't, we didn't come, we didn't run back. And we kind of let our offense dictate our defense uh, in third quarter. So it's um, just, we need to have a, we, we, we can miss shots, but it needs to be a cre creative open shot, you know, not just the one-two dribble, no passes, uh, three-point or whatever, one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, we need a little bit movement, so kind of stable all our offense. That's going to that, that's gonna help us a lot. Christos. Hey, Nicola, congratulations on the win. What it means about your mentality to win games like this tonight, and what uh, did shown about your character as a team? I don't, brother. I'm going to win. Uh, my mindset, my mindset is set to win every game. You know, we don't have a easy games. We don't have a easy opponent. We don't, we don't play the record we, because uh, we cannot give us that uh, pleasure to play the record and. Uh, we show ourselves in the past that uh, everybody can beat us and we can beat everybody. everybody. So I don't play the I don't play the record uh, record. I don't underestimate the opponent never in my life. So mm, I play every game to win the game. Alexander Zikic. Uh Nikola Chestitam na Izoradna Pobili Vacharaste, you see Bila Reshir Pochelka the Pokajate da Sigurno pobeđujete, takođe čestitam izboru ponovo za igrača nedelje u zapadnoj konferenciji i novi triple-double takođe. 
Hvala puno, hvala puno. Pa da, tu utaknica je bila malo čudna. Imali smo veliku prednost u prvom polu vremenu, igrali smo stvarno sjajno, odbrno je bila fenomenalna napad, je bila sve bila fenomenalna, gde smo pogađali, delili lote, igrali timski, onda smo u trećoj četvrnu počeli malo sporije, malo slabije. Nekako smo počeli da igramo možda svako za sebe i bez mnogo dodavanja i imali smo jako puno iskrizanih šutrava, gde samo smo ih nekako smo ih mi terali da trče i da davaju pojene, lake pojene, što kažu s jedne noge. I onda smo četvrti čez vreni malo stisli i na kada smo, da kažem, lako, rutinski pobedili, ali nije bilo tako lako. Ok, imamo jedno više. Ovo će se završiti s Aleksandr Zikić za follow-up. Go ahead and know yourself there, Alexander. Kako je bilo sa Nikolom Vučevićem, pričali ste čak po nekaj malo toliko utakmice, posebno i pred kraj, i s njim sam malo čas razgovarao, kaže da je uvijek interesantno i puno te hvali takođe kao MVP. Jeste, sigurno. Nikola je najviše u nas u NBA. Mislim da jeste. Mislim da je najviše od nas u NBA i ja sam dosta naučio njega i Mama koja je stvarno primer jednog profesionalca i primer jednog sportista. Eto sad igra stvarno na rekonskom nivou, eto bili smo zajedno dva puta na Ostaru. Tako da je jedan momak stvarno za primer svoji deci kako treba da bude profesionalac. Tako da eto, na utakmici uvijek zanimljivo da igramo jedan proti drugog. Malo se ispromošivao nešto danas, neke zicere, nešto ga nije išlo, ali dobro. Srećno za nas. All right, that'll do it for tonight. Thank you, Nikola. My pleasure, guys, like always.